here we go again. I forgot to mention Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to do a live, which is very disconcerting for me. I don't have Robert to delete the craziness that comes out of my <laughs> mouth at times. But don't forget, Tuesday, 8 p.m. And in your defense, the three quarters of what I said, it gets deleted. Yes. Yes. All right. You're, now you're... on to our regularly scheduled programming. Good morning. My name is Rebel, and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing the second half of last week's What Sold. This would be for January 7th through the 9th, Friday through Sunday of last week. Um, two weeks ago, I had a first in that I sold stuff on all five platforms. This weekend, that for that weekend, the 7th through the 9th, I only sold on eBay. I sold on no other platforms for the entire weekend. But Facebook has done much better this week. Um, and I think I sold something on Bonanza, but the rest have been really, really slow. I haven't been cross-listing to the others as much. I've been doing a lot to Facebook, though. And I've just been picking little people, dollhouse, brass, um those types of things that tend to do really well on there for me. And I'm just, I've been behind getting stuff cross-listed. So Facebook it is for right now. If I have to choose, it's going to be Facebook. Um, couple of things. I had to make a list so I wouldn't forget. I got another Vero warning this week. Let me tell you, I think before the bunt, I've only had two Vero's in 20 some years and that was for onesies which we all end up getting and velcro which we all end up getting is when you're new and you just don't know but now I've gotten two in like the last short while this one I had a loving family dollhouse hot tub and I used the word jacuzzi I should have known I should have known but don't use jacuzzi when it's a hot tub, but it's not a specifically a jacuzzi hot tub. But that's all right. And then um, somebody had asked me a question on shipping large plush. Now, a lot of my plush can be shipped in the large priority box, the 12 by 12 by 8. But if it can't, I have a couple of options. Now, if it can fit in a poly bag, I have a, I have quite a few. I have this size, which, let me go right here's a tape measure. I should have done this before. This one is, I want to say 12 by 17. Yeah, 12 by 17. Um, I order these a lot. I also use these for like, um, books, craft kits that are really large, and then I just stuff it with a, a piece of cut cardboard to help it stay, you know, stiff and not get all scrunched up. Um, I also, once upon a time, I, I, I would assume eBay still sells them, but I bought some of these really large envelopes or poly bags from them. Now this one is, looks like 14 and a half by almost 20. So if it's not like those vintage um, like carnival style that are really, really stiff plush or has tags or anything like that, it, or, you know, just a regular plush and it can fit in one of these, that's fine. That's what I use. But I also have several boxes that I use quite often. This, I really bought this more for dolls. This is a 20 by 8 by 8. See, it's just the perfect size for like vintage dolls. But every once in a while, I use it for a plush. And I usually buy these in like sets of 25. I've been buying a lot of my stuff from the boxery. But I'm not too happy right now with the quality of the smaller boxes I'm getting from there. So I may try to look for another source. If anybody has a better source that's um, just quality boxes, not the kind that if I was to lay 
a priority box on top of it, it's going to implode. And that's kind of what I'm facing right now. Or they're poorly glued and they're just going to pop open at the seams. But, um, and then this is the box I use the most. This is a 16 by 12 by 8. And once I do the dimensional weight, it ends up being 17, 13, 8. Now, eBay also, in which I just received, eBay also has this size box in there. Um, the eBay branded stuff. This box is quite good for most large plush. And I use this quite often. And then I did buy a larger box, which is this 18, 13 by nine and a half. But a lot of times if you're walking through Walmart or any larger department store, when they're unpacking, a lot of times you can get like Sterilite, you know, the plastic totes or, you know, those type boxes to pack your stuff in. But that's how I do it. Um, just make sure you're using dimensional weight when you um, put in your... And, and if I know it's not going to fit in a priority box, it pretty much... Uh, I'll test it. And a lot of times, I, you know, for the weight also to make sure I have an accurate weight um, or I just prepack it. Um, and that way it's ready to go. All right, so I hope that helps. I know not everybody can go out and buy a whole bunch of boxes. Just keep it in mind, especially if you do end up with a large plush, to try to go ahead and find a box before you ever list it because there's nothing like having to scrounge. Now, I do have a lot of large boxes. I have pe friends that donate their boxes to me. They're packing stuff when they get stuff. So I do have more that if it needed to be bigger. I used to love when the U.S. Postal Service sent you their large priority boxes in a cardboard box. It's amazing for putting things that are long and skinny in, but they don't do that anymore. I'm down to like my last two or three, and that's, that's sad. But again, I just buy boxes so that I'm always ready for this. All right. So, all I've got is eBay for you. Thank goodness for eBay, right? But I had some amazing sales. I'll just go ahead and start with the first. This was my biggest sale, and I'm done with this ornament. I've I mentioned this. I bought nine of these Corning Opel glass ornaments at a, an estate sale. I had three boxes and each box was $2. And when I opened up the boxes, there were multiples in several of them. I ended up with nine of these ornaments for $6. I sold the last two to this person. They paid, they made me an offer of $100 each. So for those nine, I did, all of them were sold for $100 each, except for two. And I took best offers of $90 on them. Um, and all of them were on eBay except one um, was sold on Etsy. So, whew. and they all arrived safely. You can't imagine just how thin and intricate these are. It was stressful to ship knowing, you know, they could be damaged. And that would just be sad because they are such a treasure. All right, next item. This is Anchor Hawking Micro Wear. Not all micro wear sells really really well and normally I could have gotten more for this but when we tried to clean it we could not that the inside was heavily stained here you go and barkeeper's friend nothing took that stain off but I went ahead and listed it and it sold for $11.50 I need to move my cheat sheet my cheat board I have a big whiteboard that I write everything down so definitely watch these. There's bacon, um, cookers. These are all like that melam, melamine, melamine type stuff that you can cook in microwaves. It was all the thing back in the 80s. And so, but they still sell. But check, because not all of them sell as well. This was a Mattel Ice Tickle Bear. This one had a pink tummy. They're from 1993. I'm pretty sure I remember picking this up at the Goodwill in Asheville. So I probably paid 99 cents 
a dollar, something like that for it. It sold for $17.95. These hanging plush, a lot of times they don't sell for a whole lot. And I've gotten to the point where I don't pick them up as often. It's just the type that have the hook and loop on their hands and they can hang from stuff. But this one was different. A lot of times I see them in bears and monkeys and stuff, but this was a dragon and I thought it was unique. So I went ahead and grabbed it and it sold for best offer of $8. I'm all about getting rid of stuff right now because I have so much to list and get stored. This we picked up at an estate sale. I think this is the one we paid $10 for. Um, it was from Salad Master and it was the skillet and a domed lid to it. Salad Master, definitely when you're seeing stainless cookware, if you pick it up and it's kind of heavy, definitely check the comps. But if you see that it says Salad Master on the side, definitely grab it. Um, I'm trying to see if I got a sign, a picture of the logo. Yes, right there. It's not very easy to see. Right there, Salad Master Stainless Steel. This I took a best offer of $80. For. I had lots of $20 and $30 offers on it. You just kind of got to wait. I did keep checking um, comps just to make sure they weren't trending downward and maybe I should go ahead and, you know, take one of the offers, but I held firm and it sold. This is Flipper Sam, Sam the Turtle from the series called Flipper. It was back in the 1990s and it sold for $7.15. I think I have a flipper also listed. I sold a lot of non-toys this time. We picked this up at a yard sale. I wanna say I paid two or three dollars for it. It was a Presto tater twister. You put a potato down in it and it made curly twisty french fries out of it. I sold it for $22.45 and I've already received feedback that the lady said her, she and her grandchildren have had a blast with this and just been making french fries every day. This is Groovy Girls. They're from Manhattan Toys. Um, I don't find them very often anymore. I used to find them all the time in furniture and clothes and just tents and just all kinds of stuff and I hardly find them anymore so I guess they're just getting harder to find I did sell this groovy girl for best off for $15 now I think I picked up a couple of them on my last sourcing trip to St. Louis which is yay this is Circo um, again I found another one of these right after I sold this one this is a green frog. Circo is a Target brand. This one was from 2010 and it sold for $17.95. I had never heard of this until I bought several things at a yard sale. It's Gudetama the Lazy Egg Plush. They are from Sanrio. I think Gund put um, some of these out also. This was the 10 inch plush, <laughs> a lazy egg. What a topic. But he did sell for best offer of $10.25. I've even been finding them in little bags and still selling them for like seven, eight, nine dollars for the little ones. Oneida, um, I'm still selling it a little at a time. It go, comes in spurts. It's like I sell a bunch of it and then I don't sell any for a while. And then here I didn't have a complete set of four of the tablespoons I guess two had been lost so I just listed the tablespoons and sold them for ten dollars and twenty five cents for two if you're new to my channel I don't offer free shipping so all of this is in addition to the buyer paying shipping I picked this up at the Goodwill bins also I think in Asheville it took forever to sell I think just the size of it I don't know but it's from Adventure Planet the wings were like 50 inches and I, you could attach it to you and, you know, pretend play with it. But I finally sold it for $11.66. So it's out the door and lots of space. 
I picked these up at an estate sale. I think we paid probably two or three dollars. I actually have five of them and four sold. They paid, let's see, $46.64 for four of them. Um, and then I went ahead and uh, gave them some of their shipping back. But definitely keep your eye out for Villaroy and Bosch. At least check the comps. This is Dandy Sock Monkey. I sell these all the time. And they're not big dollar items, but they sell consistently for me. This one was dressed in camo, and it sold for $7.15. But if I bought it at the bins, it was probably 10 or 15 cents. These next two are Webkins, but they were sold to two different people, but back-to-back -back orders. I thought I was going to be doing a combined shipping, and luckily I caught myself. But this one is the Signature Series Webkins, and you can tell, see these from the foot. Definitely, if you see the larger plush, and they have this gold W. A lot of times it's a multicolored, but the gold, definitely check the comps because they usually sell for more than the regular webkins. This was the Lab Labrador dog. It did not have a code. Make sure you always put that in your description, your title, and then there's actually, if you're using the right category, there's a place on there for you to say code or no code. Um, but I ended up selling this for $17.95. And then these two, I've been doing, when I have like like animals, these two were dogs and I don't have codes for them. I've been combining them just to kind of up my price a little bit. I ended up selling these two for $10. This is a KMC Telcom coffee mug. I'm all about watching coffee mugs um, that are businesses. This, just a normal, hold on. This is just a basic coffee mug, but and I ended up taking a best offer of $10 for it. But if you've been watching any of my videos for a while, I sold three coffee mugs, one for $99, one for $115, and another one for $145, and they were all advertising mugs. So at least when you're out yard selling and stuff and you see, you know, a company that you've probably not heard of or especially anything that's um, pharmaceutical companies, definitely check the comps. This is a snuggle bear. It's the first time I've ever seen this one. It's only three inches tall. It was a Christmas ornament from 1986 and it sold for $8.50 best offer. Look how cute. Just adorable. All things Snuggle Bear. These. I picked these up at an estate sale. I paid $5 for them. They were Blinko bookends. I guess half moon. I've had them listed probably over a year and just kept slowly but surely lowering my price. Um, I guess they're amber, and I just don't think they were as popular a color. But I finally got a best offer of $55 and accepted it. I was getting a lot that were like $10, $20. And I just knew if I held out, I could get some. But these were heavy, heavy. I picked these up at the Goodwill bins. Again, it's been a while. I think they were handmade. I have two of them. One had this Easter and the other one was Christmas colors. I'm pretty sure they were handmade. But I think you could just put like, either use it as a pajama bag or put like doll stuff in it. You know, it was like 15 inches. I did finally sell it for best offer of $15. This is from Wild Republic, and it's a panda bear, but embroidered, I think, on its foot. It was actually from the National Zoo for a Taishan panda bear. A lot of times, if a plush is specific to a particular zoo or a particular 
animal, you know, like Tyshawn was, um, a lot, they usually get, you get a little bit more for them. I did sell this panda for $17.95. These came from the, um, I have a video on it, where two thrift stores that were side by side went out of business. Robert found a bunch of this false graft sand sea stoneware. These were the plates. I've sold, I think, almost all of it. These were the last two plates. This person ended up spending uh, $17.92 for the two, and then Robert packed it up nicely for me and shipped it. But we were, it was fill a garbage bag for $5, and so he put a bunch of these plates and some bowls in the bag. This is a cheetah plush. It's from Sugarloaf, and I don't normally pick up that brand unless the plush just is really, really cute. It's just not a brand I care for. They tend to be more cheaply made. I'm just going to say it. Um, but this one was cute, so I did keep it and sold it for $8.96. Loving Family. I've picked up several dollhouses this past year, and then I parted out the furniture, and I sold the dollhouses in my booth. This just was the two couches, or two chairs, and then this lamp. I sold it for the $20.66. I think I paid $25 for one dollhouse with accessories, and then I paid um, like $65.90, but they were packed with dollhouse stuff. This is Brass Kangaroo, little five inch figure. It sold for $7, best offer. Almost every week I have something brass and I've told myself this week I'm gonna finish out that tote. I need to just get it all listed and then get it, get it on eBay and then cross list it to Facebook. This is, it's all Greek to me. I like that brand. It's just quirky little things, and I just love the title or the, the name of the company. This was just a little 7-inch plush, very cute, sold for $7.15. Now, this is also from Gons. These are called the Wrinkles Hand Puppets. They're very large plush, 18 inches, and in the back of their head, you can stick your hand in and control their mouth. Um... They almost always have these cute little outfits on. Some are girls, some are boys. Usually they have a bone that's like stuck in a, po a pocket, but this one didn't have it. I think I paid $5 for it at one of our local thrift stores. Um, it did have its original paper, as you can see here. Because that paper's off, that tells me I probably washed it because it was it had some stains that needed to be dealt with. That's okay. I just go ahead and include the tag back. I keep a little pile, and as things come back downstairs after they've had their spa day, I try to recon not reconnect, but put the tags back with the items when I list them. This sold for $26.95. I don't find them very often anymore either. This is Jerry Elsner. It's just another brand I like to pick up. I don't find them very often, but they're, they seem to be cute. And decently made. This one had a little red heart. You can't see it with the... Dang it. I don't think I have a really good picture of it either. Underneath that ribbon right there is a little heart like button that was in the chest. Just really cute. But I ended up selling him for best offer of $11. These next three... Um, one buyer purchase. They were all from the Little Tykes dollhouse stuff that I picked up at an estate sale. Um, most of these I paid, I want to say a dollar a piece for them. I picked up several, the, the horses, fences, um, ponies, a tractor, just several things that were um, Little Tykes dollhouse. Love that brand. This person bought three things, spent $43.06. They got this horse. This was one hay bale. I still have um, two more to go. And 
the jockey rider. Very cute. These are in excellent shape. Normally, a lot of times, if they've been very well, I mean, very played with, the paint is all gone or almost all gone off their faces. And the fact that you can see even its lips and its freckles, they were very well taken care of. These next two, the person, one person bought both of them and didn't wait for me to combine shippings, but I did. I always give a discount back on shipping when they don't wait for me to. It's just, I always have, I always will. I think they appreciate it. You know, unless for some reason the shipping ends up being about how much they paid. These two were from the Ravensburger Gravitrax. We bought these at the Finders Keepers the first weekend and the only weekend I've actually got a really good deal there. But we went on the dollar day. So everything we bought there that day was a dollar. This is the Marble Run um, expansion set. Really much larger. Pay, they paid $15 for it. And then this is a smaller add-on set, which um, they paid $8 for. And then this is from my online estate sale. This is an Eden Oshkosh Bigosh boy. Unfortunately, when I washed him, um, the stains didn't come out. So I, I did drastically reduce the price that I normally would have set, a, set him up for. But he ended up selling for $7.50. And then this is a Tiger Plush. When I was digging, this came from our, uh, I'm pretty sure from our sourcing trip. But when you're digging for stuff and you hear a rattle, first of all, you think Tyco Kitty Kitty Kitten, but it wasn't. This had a rattle in its head, just like the Kitty Kitty Kittens, but it's larger. It didn't have a tag and... My research, I couldn't find who might have put this in, uh, who was the manufacturer, but it still sold for $17.95. But just definitely, if you hear these little rattling sound, it's supposed to mimic a purring sound, but to me it doesn't. It sounds more like a rattle. And then, my best, other than the Corning ornament, this was my best plush sell. I got this at the 100 Mile Yard sale. This is a Play School Nosy Bear um, from 1987. Th there's lots of different ones of these. Probably like 10 inches, some may be a little bit big, bigger, but when you squeeze their belly, it has a mechanism and there's always something in this clear plastic nose. This one was stars, just little stars. And when you squeeze the belly, it poofed air in there and they just kind of blow around. Sold him for $71.95, which is funny because I was sending out offers for like $65, $68 um, because I've had it since the summer and just wanting to get stuff moving. I kept eyeballing um, other comps and it was still saying in the $60 to $70 you know, dollar range, but I ended up selling it. It was on sale for the $71.95. So happy, happy, happy. All right. I don't have any, it's kind of lost. I don't have Facebook to share or anything like that, but I hope you guys are still learning lots of different brands to watch for. You know, not everybody's going to want to buy the $8 thing that I sell or, you know, even 12, you know, there's people out there who say, you know, if you're not selling it for 20 bucks, then, but it all works for me. You know, it just all works. It all adds up in the end, right? Whether I'm selling it for $3.75 or I'm selling it for $200, it all adds up. All right, bye.